So you would expect natural gas prices to, to skyrocket, which they did. And so you would expect power prices to skyrocket, which they did not do as much. And there's a couple reasons for that. One is fuel oil. So back in the polar vortex, a lot of people had fuel oil back up for years, and a lot of people had never used it. So a lot of their tanks were pretty low. And so when they went to rely on fuel oil, one, they used it quickly, and two, they didn't have the contracts necessarily in place or freshened up, so they couldn't refuel their tanks quick enough. Well, after the lesson of the polar vortex, that changed real quick. Everybody topped off their tanks, made sure they had their contracts, and truckers saw a good opportunity to make money during cold winter. Of course, we didn't have any for a couple, but then here we have a cold winter, and it worked excellently. Two, PJM put in those market rules that I was talking about to make sure that you have fuel when needed, and they don't care about your gas pipeline situation. So a lot of peaking generation put in fuel oil backup, as Buckeye's doing at a couple of their peaking plants, in order to make sure that they had fuel when needed so they didn't get the PJM penalties. So we saw about 12,000 megawatts of fuel oil come online during that time. And fuel oil, based on where it would have been in the tanks, is probably about $15 per MMBTU, equivalent to natural gas. So the fuel oil backup really helped a lot. The uh, gas that they're flaring in North Dakota and South Dakota? Yep. Uh, has there been any consideration for building a power plant right there where the gas is being flared and utilize it? Yeah, we've talked to folks that have looked at that and there's like zero, de zero demand for electricity. So um, they have, if you've ever uh, been up there, there's nobody living there, um, first of all. Um, I took my, I took my, I've got a, th 11, a 10 and a 12 year old and I took my wife and kids uh, on a drive across North Dakota, the Bakken Shale and then on to Wyoming, and they were just thrilled. But, um, uh, but yeah, there's, there's, there's a lot of wind, too. So there's a couple big coal plants, there's a ton of wind, and there's just no need for electricity.